Hello and welcome to BISP Business Intelligence Solution Providers. Uh, we have uh, this video for uh, installation of Oracle Data Integrator 11G and configuration with Oracle WebLogic Server. My name is Anil Patel. Okay, so uh, now we are moving for installation. So the steps for installation of Oracle Data Integrator. The prerequisites is Oracle 11G. Then we need to download software from oracle.com. We need to install two software, Oracle WebLogic Server and Oracle Data Integrator. Then unzip the software and install by uh, first Oracle WebLogic Server then Oracle Data Integrator. So now moving to download software from Oracle website. So so just uh, go to oracle.com and search for project. First uh, you should download uh, Oracle WebLogic Server for Windows machine and uh, Oracle Data Integration uh, 11G for Windows machine because we will install Oracle Data Integrator and WebLogic in Windows machine. Uh, now after download the software we will unzip the software Uh, here you can see I have downloaded uh, WebLogic Server and uh, Oracle Data Integrator and I have unzipped both. Uh, this is Oracle Data Integrator and this is the installer of Oracle Data Integrator. This is installer for WebLogic Server. So first I will install uh, Oracle WebLogic Server 11G. So just uh, uh, I will run this installer by double click so the installer is start now welcome window will appear and press next uh, we having two options use an existing middleware home and create a new middleware home so first time we will use installation create a new middleware home so it will uh, select uh, path automatically or we can choose path uh, I have chosen this path that is default path and press next then next window is appear that is uh, register for security updates so I will uncheck this Uh, checkbox uh, or you can set uh, according to you and press next and here uh, next window is appear choose uh, install type so here two types of uh, installation typical and custom so I will choose uh, typical and press next then uh, choose product installation directories uh, window will appear here the directories for weblogic server uh, oracle coherence and oracle enterprise pack for eclipse uh, we no need to change this path and press next or you can change also then uh, installation summary window is appear uh, because we have choose uh, typical installation so each and every component is selected then press the next and uh, our installation of Oracle WebLogic 11G is uh, starting it will take a uh, few seconds
well uh, if we talk about uh, oracle data integrator so oracle data integrator is a elt tool which having elt architecture extract load and then transform uh, we no need of any middle tier hub server or transformation machine in oracle data integrator uh, now web logic installation is completed now press done uh, you can see here uh, oracle web logic this is installed uh, and then uh, web logic platform window will uh, window is appeared so we can create uh, domain uh, so I will uh, skip domain uh, creation we will create uh, uh, next time okay then uh, uh, I will install Oracle data integrator Oracle data integrator so I have downloaded uh, the software and uh, go to disk tool and uh, double click on setup of Oracle data integrator and run the setup then uh, Oracle universal installer window will appear and now you can see Oracle Universal Installer. This is uh, executing. It will take a few seconds. Then uh, Oracle Data Integrator Installer window will appear. Uh, this is a, a welcome window of Oracle data integrator okay so just uh, read instructions and uh, press next select all components developer installation uh, here ODI studio ODI SDK software development kit standalone installation Java double E installation select all and then press next your prerequisites uh, checks this is a successful check by Oracle data integrator here Oracle data integrator checks uh, operating system certifications as service pack and uh, check uh, physical memory then press next and here uh, because uh, Oracle Data Integrator install over Oracle Web Logic server, so the path will same. And uh, uh, under this directory, Oracle Data Integrator has a home directory with name Oracle underscore ODI one. Uh, then press next. Uh, here uh, we having uh, repository configuration window here we have again two options configure repository and uh, skip repository configuration in case of uh, RCU repository creation utility if we have done repository creation by using repository creation utility so we go for configuration of uh, configure repository otherwise so we will skip so I skip repository configuration or we will uh, create a repository uh, in time of uh, Oracle data integrator um, starts now press next and uh, uh, next window is uh, specify agent detail in Oracle data integrator there is uh, two types of agent one is standalone agent and uh, second one is Java double agent so this is a default agent so I will give a uh, name any name uh, 
I will give name as a you can give any name and uh, you can give agent port number between 0 to 6 5 5 3 5 so I will give uh, 9 8 9 3 you can give any port number for agent and uh, press next and this is the installation summary for Oracle data integrator you can save installation summary uh, and uh, click to install you can see installation summary uh, our agent configuration detail agent name is local agent 001 agent port uh, disk space required uh, available and uh, what uh, applications we enabled in developer installation uh, here you can find each and every configuration and uh, save this and uh, press uh, install now our installation is uh, starts so this is a uh, installation of Oracle data integrator it will take a few seconds uh, then we will start Oracle Data Integrator. Uh, I want to uh, uh, talk about Oracle Data Integrator. Uh, this is a really amazing ETL tool uh, for data warehouse. Uh, it's based on ELT architecture. That's uh, extract, load and transform and when we will talk about uh, other ETL tool available in market that is extract transform and then load so this is amazing tool uh, when we talk about its history so earlier it was product of synopsis uh, company software company that is a France based software company and uh, in uh, October 2006, Oracle Corporation acquired Synopsys. So now Oracle Data Integrator is uh, changed uh, as a uh, Oracle Data Integrator from Synopsys Data Integrator. And after uh, owning of Oracle, Oracle Data Integrator, uh, it has uh, many improvements and upgradations. Now we having the uh, latest version of Oracle Data Integrator is uh, 11G. Uh, this uh, Oracle Data Integrator is uh, very easy to use and it's having a, a wide range of uh, graphical user interface, uh, knowledge modules which convert uh, uh, different uh, databases pattern to load the target system. Oracle Data Integrator supports uh, 49 RDBMS like text file, Hyperion, Attunity, Sybase, Oracle, Microsoft Access, Excel. And there is a uh, 49 RDBMS disparate systems oh, installation is uh, successful and uh, configuration process is uh, starts uh, now it's uh, it is successful uh, then press next here uh, installation is completed and uh, you can again save its summary of uh, installation and configuration of Oracle data integrator 
then you can save and uh, press finish its total time uh, elapsed uh, 9 minute 32 seconds so first time when we start oracle data integrator go to oracle and oracle data integrator first time we need to give a path for java uh, java.exe file so i am just browse location so the path of uh, location is uh, under uh, Oracle, then uh, middleware, then uh, JDK160 underscore 18, then uh, win and then java.exe file, then press OK. Now Oracle Data Integrator is uh, starting. This is a pop-up window of Oracle Data Integrator. Uh, you can see uh, our Oracle Data Integrator is successfully installed. So, thank you guys. Thanks for listen and watch me. For more detail, please uh, 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 log on to www.learnhyperion.wordpress dot com and uh, we have another blog odi network dot blog spot dot com thank you